what does a data scientist actually do? I'm currently making a series about what different data roles do, and this was by far the most difficult video to make. I'm basing everything on real job listings and actual skills desired by employers. But the data scientist is a confusing job. They do a lot of different things depending on the company, and it's a very broad general term nowadays. Anyway, I'm up for the challenge, and I'm going to show you exactly what a data scientist does. Let's start with the responsibilities of a data scientist, and then move on to the exact skills, then the pay scale and what you can expect to earn, and then in the end I'll compare it to other data roles as well. Understanding other data roles and their responsibilities will be key to understanding what a data scientist actually does, because you often work in a team. So let's get started. The thing is that the data scientist doesn't really work like other data roles. If you're a data engineer, you'll have relatively specific responsibilities, like for example building data pipelines, but if you're a data scientist, you don't really have that. Instead, we have to take a deeper look. Let's head over to Indeed, the job platform, and here is an entry-level data scientist role from IBM. It pays roughly 93 to 121,000 per year and we'll get into all the different salaries later because this is not the best example. Here you'll find a lot of different responsibilities. We have implementing predictive models and that's usually a pretty common thing for data scientists. But as you can see we also have some machine learning stuff, some communication and a lot of pretty unclear stuff. And to be honest this is a pretty clear job listing for being a data scientist. But then let's look at another one. Data scientist. And this one is completely different. It just focuses on dealing with data, cleaning and structuring data sets, developing dashboards and reports and dealing with bugs and other stuff like that. I don't find any machine learning. It's a completely different job description. And this is because the data scientist role is actually like an umbrella of different responsibilities. Many of these responsibilities overlap with other job titles in data. And what you do is going to depend on the company you work for and what they need from you as a data scientist. It could be doing more things towards data engineering or you'll you'll basically be a more technical data analyst. You could also work more towards machine learning, or you could work in the complete opposite direction, more towards BI, business intelligence in general. So we don't really gain a lot from looking at the data science responsibilities on job listings. Instead, we should look at the skills that are in demand for data scientists, because it's going to give you a much better understanding of what a data scientist actually does by just looking at the tools, programming languages, and other stuff they use that employers desire. So let's take a look at the skills employers look for. I want to base it on real data from job listings on places like LinkedIn and Indeed. And the YouTuber and data analyst Luke made this awesome website where he scraped over 1.6 million job listings to see what employers actually look for. And this is what he found. I'm going to divide these skills into a few different categories. And first we have the programming languages. Python, R, Java, Scala, and C++. Here Python and R will be the top skills. But as a data scientist, you're expected to have a solid understanding of programming fundamentals and different languages so they're able to pick up any language needed for the specific project or for your company. Next we have the data visualization tools. Tableau seems to be the number one tool and then we of course have Power BI as well. Let's move on to databases. SQL is a key skill used to deal with databases and no SQL of course depending on the database you work with. Just being able to understand and work with databases in different formats is a key skill. Next we have the cloud platforms with AWS and Microsoft Azure winning and then we also have big data Data and Spark is a good tool for that. And then we have a ton of other things like SAS, Excel, Docker, and different libraries and frameworks for different uses like TensorFlow for machine learning, Pandas used to expand Python, and much more. There will be a lot of variety because companies use different tools to basically accomplish the same things. For example, one company may use AWS, whereas another company uses Azure or Google Cloud Platform. That's why you'll find a lot of different skills here. It doesn't really mean that you have to know all of them or that they're completely different things. If you become really familiar with one of them, it's going to make it way easier to learn another similar tool if your company needs it. So don't be afraid of this list. We're not talking about 20 unique different skills. It is also really critical to have a strong mathematical foundation and a good understanding of statistics and probability. You can learn these things yourself. I know many people that have, but it's why a lot of employers look for degrees as sort of a proof that you have this strong foundation. So to kind of sum this up to what a data scientist actually does, it's a combination of computer science, math, math, statistics, and actual domain knowledge of the thing itself. Let's take a look at the pay of a data scientist. A data scientist will usually make a lot of money compared to other data roles like a data analyst because it's more technical and has more requirements on prior education. Please keep in mind that these salaries are for the US, but they're also going to depend a lot on the state. And if you're in another country, it might be completely different, but it can still give you a good measurement for what you could expect between the different roles and levels. The median salary for a data scientist is around 
120,000 per year. And as you can see, the range is around 90 to 150,000. So if you're just getting started, it might be around 90,000. For a medium level, it might be somewhere in between. And for a senior, you're looking at 150,000 per year or even more. Some top companies are going to pay way more than this with data scientist salaries at Meta, for example, being around 244,000 per year, according to Glassdoor. But for most companies, you're more looking at the previous numbers that I was talking about. If we compare a data scientist to other roles, it's generally more broad. It has a lot more technical skills compared to, for example, a data analyst, and it doesn't really have the same kind of specific responsibilities like a data analyst or a data engineer. It's also going to depend a lot on the company, so it's more important than ever to read the job description as a data scientist. If you don't look at the job description, you might apply to a data scientist role and then end up doing something that you don't want to do, so just make sure to check it. If you like this video, guys, watch this video next, where I go through another data role in detail to give you a more complete understanding. Have an amazing week, guys, and I'll see you over there.